You know what James Corden's crime is? He's not perfect. He's not perfect. That's his crime. I think people need to acknowledge that it's their right to dislike anybody they want, but they need to acknowledge I am participating in bullying. There is a part of the human fucking personality that enjoys picking on people. There's something wrong with or right with that enjoys fucking good get them get them while they're doing. I don't know what that is. Is it like um is it like when you get wee fucking baby tigers having a wee a wee shot at like them all let them fucking hunt something? Is it like practice? Do we simply get a good feeling at it? That's it. It feels good when we're cruel and that has helped us in terms of evolution. Have we got to where we are today because we enjoy killing lots of people and hurting lots of people? Did it serve us in the past to be cruel because people are social and people are clever? And if they, they can see you doing cruel things, sadistic things, they'll leave you alone. That you'll be feared. Is it that? Either way, people need to acknowledge that that's what they're doing with James Corden. That's what they're doing with that guy. You know what James Corden needs today? He needs to come out as a cunt. That's what he needs to do. He needs to come in and go, ah, I'm a fucking prick and I don't care. Then, nobody would care. It's because he's maybe coming across as all sort of nice and doing his songs. Like, well, I heard this about him. He comes across like he's that, but I've actually heard this about him. He's a pure fake. So see if he just comes out and goes, ah, I'm a fucking prick. I'm a prick. Then people go, ah, right, well, that's all right then. You've got, got to respect that. Now becomes like a kind of Darth Vader or something like that, like a kind of uh, villain. And then you get people doing the opposite thing where they go, you know, a lot of people say he's a villain, but he once held a door open for me and I will never forget that. I've, I've, I've seen that sort of thing in documentaries, like about like the most evil fucking cunt suit in history. But you get somebody in an interview who's like 90 gone like that, I remember, and he, he, he smiled at me, and I was about to trip up, and he, he stopped me from falling, and no one will ever take that away from, from me. It's like, people like to spot when you know as perfect as you, as you seem, they take a lot of pleasure in it. People like to spot that you know as bad as what you seem. So you've got to pick, you've got to pick one, if you care about that sort of thing. I'm sort of try I'm not decided I've not decided what I'm what mission I'm on. I've I've went for the I'm not really sure. I just sort of like to chop chop and change. It's a lot more it's a lot more uh, stress free. Just, just putting yourself out there as a prick, and then people can can um, argue against it. But if you try and come across like some sort of fucking nice guy or something, or generous in some sort of way, and then you know they can pick holes in it. People like to devote their time to unpicking something, and if you just go, ah, I'm a prick. They go like, ah, right, well, my work here is done. And they'll just go and find somebody else. But then you get other people going like that. He, he, do you know, he comes across a prick, he likes to act like he's a pure dickhead and a prick, and a lot of people call him it. But, but I, I do remember 
he came into my stream once and said, all right, have a nice stream. And they can take that away from me. It's the same reason that people are into um, conspiracy theories and stuff like that. They like to think that this is what the mainstream are saying. This is what this is what everybody's saying. But I know the truth. Me and a few select people know what's really going on. <laughs> 